Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to fix your database is corrupted on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So if your database is corrupted, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is rebuild the database. Now to do this, we have to put our PlayStation 5 into safe mode. So you can see my PlayStation 5 is turned on. I want to go ahead and completely turn this off so there is no light on this light bar. So if we have it on, I'm going to go ahead and hold down the power button right here and hold it down for about 10 seconds. So you will hear one beep and then you'll hear a second beep and you'll notice this light bar will turn off. And you want to completely turn it off. You don't want it in rest mode. Now go ahead and locate a USB cable like this and then plug into the front of the PlayStation 5 and plug the other end into our controller. So we need the controller plugged in to be able to operate the safe mode menus. Now, with our PlayStation 5 completely 100% turned off, hold down the power button once again, you'll hear one beep, and then five to 10 seconds later, you will hear another beep. And our PlayStation should start in the safe mode menu. Now, go to the controller, and press the PlayStation button and we will now be able to operate the safe mode menu. Then go on down to option number five and go to rebuild database. Okay, so when you press the PlayStation button, this is the safe mode menu. Now we have various different things in here like change video output if we want to change the resolution on our PlayStation. We can update the system software then we can restore default settings, clear the cache, and rebuild the database, or reset our entire PlayStation 5. So let's go to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. Then go to option number two, rebuild database under here. And then go on over to OK. Now it says it may take a few hours to rebuild the database, but my experience only takes about five minutes. So let's go to OK. So it says rebuilding the database, seven minutes left. It doesn't say a few hours. And the seven minutes is only about like actually three or four minutes. So as soon as this completes, it's gonna restart our PlayStation 5 and it's gonna boot up like normal. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.